Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about what happens after you get the job offer. You're going to want to negotiate the highest salary possible and the best benefits package for you. So let's go over the tips that you'll need to know to do that. And so first thing you should know is why should that employer actually agree to give you the compensation that you're asking for? Well, if you know what you're offering to that employer, you should be able to get that uh, compensation that hopefully you want or at least get it going in the direction that you need it to go. Uh, next, why are you worth the figure that you're asking? So, you know, a lot of students, they get out of college and they say, oh, I want to go out and make, you know, $100,000, let's say. But the job that they're applying for only pays 30000 or 40000 Well, you're going to need to uh, be able to back up why you think you're worth uh, $100,000. Most of the time it won't happen, so you're going to have to actually have a feasible number uh, that's appropriate for the job that you're applying to. So make Make sure that you do your research and you know the answer to that question uh, before they ask you a specific salary figure. Next thing you need to know is what that company needs and how you're going to fulfill those needs. So uh, look at your job description, look at the, uh, the specific qualifications, make sure that you're matching yourself up to exactly what that company needs. If they need someone who can work under pressure, give examples and uh, specifics of the in the past when you've actually done that. So make sure you look at the job description and make sure you know what that company needs. Your job is to convince them that you can actually fill those needs and make that employer more money and save time. All right, uh, next thing you should know is that you should assure the employer that you're as interested in meeting the company's goals as well as your own. A lot of people, when they go into negotiations, they're only thinking about themselves, right? If you're only thinking about yourself and you're only bringing up examples of why you need the money, they're not really going to care that much about that. You wanna keep the negotiation focused and keep it uh, focused on the company's needs and how you're going to fulfill them. Again, uh, don't ever let the conversation turn into you versus is the employer you definitely don't want to do that because you're going to come off as combative and they're going to be less likely to negotiate with you your objective again should be a win-win solution uh, in which the employer feels that they got a good deal and you feel that you got a good deal so hopefully this video helps you on understanding a little bit more about negotiating a salary after you get a job a lot of these tips can be used for if you go in and ask for a raise as well so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have something that you want to learn, please put it in the comment section and I will make a video based off of the question that you have. So video requests are open and I hope uh, that you have a great day. Thank you so much.